Hi, I'm Jacob Cebulski. Welcome to Rapid Miner Data Mining and Data Visualization. Welcome back. In this lesson, you're going to learn how to load data, how to select relevant attributes and create new attributes. What you see in front of you is the last process that we worked on and it was very simple. We loaded the data from RapidMiner Data Store, in which case this store was describing the student performance in math mathematics in the Portuguese school. Let's run this process. Uh, this is the data which is stored in student math um, data store. Um, it has a lot of descriptions of students age and sex, the address, family size, family status, and of course three attributes describing the student's performance in assessment G1, G2, and the final exam G3. There's a lot of attributes and perhaps it would be a good idea to reduce the set um, and manage it uh, as a small description. Not always the best idea for data mining, but it's an exercise. So we're going to be looking for an operator which selects attributes. Here we are. I'm going to drag it and drop it. Look, I'm dropping it on a line connecting the retrieve operator with the result port. You can see the lines highlighting. When I finished, it's auto-connected. Um, it's a quick way of adding new attributes. I'm going to work in stepwise fashion, do a small change, in this case getting a subset of attributes, and then I'm going to run it. Let's select attributes G1, G2, G3, um, perhaps uh, students' age, their failures, their address, um, who is the student's guardian, maybe which school they go to, the sex. We have here about eight attributes. It's a good start. So let's apply and let's run. Now you can see we have uh, selected those attributes only and in many cases sometimes we want to invert the selection, in which case we'll see all attributes except for those that we selected. That's not exactly what we want, so let's deselect it. Um, I'm going to add a new attribute. I'm going to convert G3 result into a categorical variable describing the level of student achievement. I'm going to use the European scale from 1 to 5. So one of the attribute operators, generate attribute, is suitable for the purpose. And I'm going to simply say, let's create a new attribute called gcategorical, which is simply a copy of G3. There is a fancy calculator here. If you want to write formulas using variety of functions available uh, in rapid manner, that this is the way to construct it here uh, using the available attributes. It's a simple expression here, G3. So again, let's run it. And you can see G3 cat at the moment is just a copy of G3. But I want G3 cat to be categorical or nominal variable from 1 to 5, describing the student achievement level. So I need to discretize it using rapid minor terminology. Again, I'm typing it. There's a few ways of binning operators, um, which is another term. And I'm going to discretize it by user specification. How I'm going to do it? I'm going to take a single attribute, in our case, G3cat, and I'm going to create a number of levels. Um, by default, we have two levels, first and last, and special values are being used, minus infinity to infinity. But I'm going to have levels such as 
1, which will be upper limit will be up to 5. So I know it's integer, so I'm going to write 4. Then 2, it'll be up to 10, which is half mark, which is pass fail, which is up to 9 here. Then 3 will be a mediocre performance, uh, maybe up to including 12 and another entry. 4, um, a pretty good performance, including 16. And finally 5. Now I know the mark is given out of 20. I could have put infinity here if I expected much higher results, but I know that this is not realistic. In school environment, make it 20. Let's check what we got. G1, G2, G3. The new variable appeared in the first column. G3 cat. 6 is above 4. Oh, this is actually a 6 above 4, so it'll be 2. 10 is a pass, should be 3. And 5 is a perfect result. Pretty good. What can we do with it? Let's chart it. By default, we can see scatter chart. We can see all the variables here. This is not the most useful chart to depict this information, which is the spread of students in different um, results category. Let's pick a pie chart. Okay, by default, we have here a simple pie chart and group by column G3 cat. That's what I want. The values in here. There's no aggregation, maybe count the number of students. And let's explode the failures. So here we are. We have 39 students who are going to fail. Um, and another thing you can see that um, explosion groups, uh, in our case, is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Um, if we had some nominal variables such as pass, credit, fail, um, not necessarily they would be in that order. Okay, so the ordinal variables. Uh, here you can see the natural order was 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, but it could be quite different. Here is um, a simple lesson which involved getting data, selecting attributes, generating new attributes and discretizing that selected and added attribute. Thank you. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to calculate aggregate statistics um, in RapidMiner.